chilling story proving life can be stranger than fiction. This story reads like the plot of a bad horror movie, except this is real, and the victim, believe it or not, was a horror film director. Macabre death. A UFO docudrama. The mystery. Horror movie director ends up in a horror movie scenario. I just couldn't believe it. Al Adamson. Like, who was this guy? My claim to fame as a director, we put more on the screen for the amount of money spent than anybody else did. Dracula versus Frankenstein. How many ways can you distort the human mind? What other director worked with Colonel Sanders, I do. Charles Manson, bikers, and porn people? A lot of breasts, blood and gore. He was the king of B-movies. Anybody that says that, oh, some of Al Adamson's movies were good, no, they were not. Look at some of your great directors. They have never made 32 films. So obviously, he wasn't a great director. You know, a lot of directors start off making B-movies, but they usually graduate. I try to train them how to direct, how to act, how to edit. He wasn't good at any of them. Inflamed to madness and murder by the wild, provocative young bodies of the Go-Go Girls. Any of you say anything bad about me, you're lying. He cheated me all the time. They had all these people that he hadn't paid because it was experience for them. We represented something he needed, youth, energy, and he was providing something we all needed a lot, opportunity. Human zombies in blood of ghastly horror. His business associate, his family, always heard from him at least two or three times a week. We're looking all over the country. Maybe he was kidnapped. We're trying to tell the family everything will be OK, but we don't really know. Are we filming? We are, we are filming, yes. And I'm lying to them. I'm saying, Al, I don't know where you are. If you're sick, if you're dead, if you're whatever, you've got to give me a sign. Wild beyond belief. You can't afford to miss. The shocking scenes you're about to see are not suggested for the weak or immature.